What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nick and today I welcome you to something that is really new to me. I have never unboxed a brand new console at the beginning of a year before. Usually traditionally consoles come out around the holiday season, but today in front of us we have the Nintendo Switch and in today's video we're going to be unboxing it and giving you guys my first impressions as well as a very quick initial boot up of what the system looks like when you open it brand new out of the box. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Alright, so before we actually get to the fun part of the unboxing and the setup, there's a couple of transparency stuff I need to go over with you guys really quickly. So, uh, this console itself was not actually purchased by myself unless I have access to some really awesome black markets because we are over a week away from the actual launch of the console. This console was sent to me from Nintendo for review purposes and I actually do not even get to keep the console. I get to review it for a week and then I have to send it back to them. So yeah, <laughs> I had pre-ordered my own console. I actually ended up getting the blue and red neon Joy-Con ones, but for the next week, I will be doing all my reviewing on this console right here. Then it goes back to Nintendo. And that's pretty much it. Enjoy the rest of the video. All right, so now that we got all the logistics out of the way, let's get to the actual fun part, which is the unboxing and the setup. Starting off with the unboxing. So upon first glances, for a console, this box is actually teeny tiny. If you compare it to like, PlayStation boxes or Xbox, Xbox boxes, <sighs> Xbox One boxes, they are usually like twice as high, like twice as thick, but this one is fairly small to give you an idea that the console itself is actually quite miniature and compact. So here's the front in all its glory. We flip it to the back and it has it in the handheld mode and that's pretty much it. Nintendo logo on the top and let's crack this open and see what it looks like on the inside. Drawing from my past unboxing experience, I always find it weird that Nintendo consoles, they're never sealed with some sort of like sticker for authenticity. They literally just flip it open and unbox and here you go. So here it is on the top. Uh, when you first open it, what you see is the actual portable screen, the, the LCD screen, which is 720p, and then you have the Joy-Cons. So this version obviously is the Joy-Cons with the gray handles. So we will put that down, remove the screen, and underneath what we got are some cables. We got an HDMI cord, the power cord, which is powered by a USB Type-C connector by the looks of it, the Joy-Con connector that you connect both Joy-Cons to. Joy-Con handle, and then you have the actual unit itself which is the docking station. So let's get all this taken out of the shrimp wrap and we'll give you guys a closer look at what it looks like all together. Alright, so now that we have all the plastic taken off and safely stored away because we don't want to choke any of our pets or our babies if we have them. So this is what everything looks like all set up. I'm not going to give you guys my final review of this console until I actually get to play around with it for about a week or so. Mainly because this isn't your typical console. There's a lot of ways or three different ways you can play with it. And it's going to take me about a couple of days to figure out all the nuances, the idiosyncrasies sequences of the console. So we're just going to go on the surface of taking what account of what everything looks like on the front and the back, underneath, the sides, all that kind of stuff, as well as the initial boot up and my final review will come in a couple days. Alright, so we'll start off with the controllers or the Joy-Cons if you will, that's the official term of these motion controllers. So right now we have it in its dock of the controller separately. One thing to note, there is no way out of the box to charge the Joy-Cons other than to have them attached and docked directly to the console and the screen. This actual dock right here, there are no charging outlets anywhere for you to attach any sort of power cable or outside battery source. Uh, there is an accessory that's coming out that will, that will allow, you, allow you to do that, but for now, out of the box, you cannot charge the Joy-Cons other than to have them in its docking mode. That's just one thing that I noticed really quickly. Alright, so moving on to the console itself, if you actually want to call it a console, it's a very weird console. So in terms of size, I actually found the perfect real life comparable, and it's actually a PlayStation 4 game case. So on a, the game case on its side, it's the exact width of the Nintendo Switch console, and it's actually just a tiny bit taller with the screen attached 
than the actual console, so almost the exact same size. In terms of depth, it's about three or four game cases deep, and that's pretty much it. So on the front of the console, you have the Nintendo Switch logo, and something that I'm really interested in is the back, because what I've always tried to take a look at the, what the back is all about, but all the events I've been to, all the consoles have been tethered down and they're locked. But uh, on the retail unit, you have a picture of the Nintendo logo, and this flap flips out right here. So in terms of attachment, you have an HDMI out, then you also have a USB, as well as an AC adapter. And it's all nicely hidden with some nice cable management with this flap right here, which is something I personally always do appreciate. You can play it a variety of ways. You can play it as a normal console, just hook it up to your TV with a controller separately. You can play it as you would like a handheld, like a, an oversized PlayStation Vita, or if you can play it on the tabletop mode, which you flip out a little flap at the back and then detach the Joy-Cons and play it like this. So it's, it's neat, it's really cool. What I'm really interested in testing out is the battery life on its tabletop mode and as well as its handheld mode, uh, either also from by itself as well with an outside battery source because I really want to test out in real world applications how long the battery will actually last. Alright, so now that we have the screen out of the dock, in terms of a real life comparable, this is an iPhone 7 Plus, so it's just a tiny bit bigger than a 7 Plus is, which is almost actually, I think it's the perfect size for a handheld console as well as a tabletop console. So the screen is absolutely beautiful even though it only runs at 720p. In terms of size, 720p works for this size of a screen. On the top you have the game card slot which is where you put all of your games, the headphone jack as well as volume control as well as the power button. So when you flip it to the back you'll find a flip up screen tab right here that allows the screen to set up in tabletop mode and it just stands like this by itself. Ooh, the screen came on. It's saying reattach the Joy-Cons. I mean, I'll do that a little bit later. And then as well, you have some, looks like it has some external speakers on the bottom and we have the power adapter so you can attach an external power source which is once again powered by USB type C. And just before I insert the game card and show you guys what they look like, this is what a Nintendo Switch game case looks like. So it's the exact same height as regular game cases, it's just like an eighth of an inch not as wide. So in comparison to a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One game case, it's yeah, just not as wide as these game cases are, just as tall. And so we have Breath of the Wild here, so let's open this up, and the game cases are about the size of an SD card. I actually have an SD card right here. So this is what it looks like when the game cartridge is beside an SD card. So once again, it's the exact same height as an SD card, but it's about an eighth of an inch, not as wide and shorter and stubby and all that kind of stuff. So the game card goes on top of the screen. We flip it down, put it in the right way the first time, snaps in, and there we go. All right, so that's it for the unboxing. Let's move into the initial boot up and get this baby rolling and see what the interface and UI looks like when you boot up a brand new Nintendo Switch for the very first time. All right, so after a little bit of a setup on the touch screen, we have finally have it docked up onto the TV mode, which I'm playing on my normal setup here with a computer monitor. So let's see what this setup looks like. Go to success because we did it. I actually already set up an account for my Nintendo Switch because you can actually reserve your game. I think it was a couple days ago on February 21st and I already got it. So let's select an icon. More options. I like it. I like it. Breath of the Wild with the red background. It's so me. No! I can't do a space because I can't fit it. Uh... Fine. <laughs> I got destroyed. I got destroyed there. <laughs> okay. Skip. For now, well, I, Tara probably will play on this as well, but we'll skip this for now. No parental controls needed. Press the home button. 
So we have Breath of the Wild inserted, as I showed you guys during the unboxing. Let's take a look at the UI and the things that we can do on here. Let's take a look at system settings. So the system itself has 25.9 gigabytes of memory, so 30 gigabytes. Uh, in order to expand this, you can add a micro SD card, which you need to purchase separately. I ordered one off Amazon. And I, I ordered a 128 gigabyte card, so uh, should be go should be good to go a little bit later. Let's see if there's a system update. Servers are down. We can go, let's see what else, Sys TV settings, RGB screen size, burn TV sound, sleep mode, I will put this to two hours, there's a sleep mode, controllers, this is where you pair your controllers if you need to. Album. Oh, sorry, there's a screenshot mode. Cool. Access the eShop. I tried updating and the servers are down. News. News. Okay, now let us, let's boot up Breath of the Wild for the very first time. Oh sweet, you can select it by user. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. Alright, so you guys have probably seen this demo a bunch of times. I've played this demo myself for the first like 20 minutes of the game. So, let's try hitting the home button and going back home and see what happens. Okay. Alright, so let me detach the Joy-Cons and attach them to the screen. And now, as you can see, we are in, it's hard to tell with all the glare, but we have it on the hand mode, which is really neat and cool. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna try the tabletop mode because you guys, it's pretty obvious what it is. So I'm gonna play around with this Nintendo Switch for the next week and I am going to be giving you guys my formal review during that time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the unboxing and the quick setup. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys are thinking of picking up a uh, Nintendo Switch in the comment box below, let me know what, if you guys have any questions or concerns uh, for the first couple days. I'll try to answer as many questions as I possibly can in the comment box below. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and as always, have a fantastic day.